Well, hello. This is a video on um, types of chemical formulas. We're going to talk about uh, empirical formulas first. They are the simplest whole number ratio between the elements of a compound. For example, this is a very simplified version of a compound where it's just a one-to-one -one ratio between atoms. Um, a compound such as, um, let's see, let's do ethane here. This is not reduced all the way. So if we were to reduce it, it would be CH3, and this would be the empirical formula. Now, molecular formulas, as you see below, um, represent the actual ratio, which may or may not be reduced. This is an example of a compound called benzene, where it has six carbons and six hydrogens. So you see that there's this um, number here, which is our integer. That's what we multiply our empirical formula by. And it's important to note, empirical is simplest, molecular formula is the actual ratio, and that's what's important to note. Here's an example, C2H6 reduced to CH3. That's the empirical formula in yellow. Here are the steps to find an empirical formula. First, you'd want to find either the mass or the percentage of each element. Convert to moles for each element. You do this individually for each one. Divide each of the values by the smallest value, and then if you need to, you would multiply those mole amounts by 2, 3, or 4 to get whole numbers. Here's an example. If we have 25% nitrogen, we would also have 25.9 grams of nitrogen, assuming that we're going to use 100 grams of compound. So this would be nitrogen. So we will assume 100 grams of compound, and this is done for convenience. So rather than having a percentage here, we'll say grams, and rather than having a percentage here, we'll say grams. The first step is to convert to moles. So this is a mass of one mole of nitrogen, and then you can see the number of moles is 1.85, and grams cancels out. Next, for oxygen, we would want to take the mass of oxygen, convert it into moles, oxygen, grams cancel, and the answer is 4.63 moles. Now, if these two numbers were whole numbers, we would be done and we would know the formula, but they're not. So we need to do the next step, which is divide them both by the smallest mole amount. Divide them both by 1.85. Of course, you're going to get 1 for nitrogen, and you get 2.5 for oxygen. And that's not a whole number either, so we need to multiply both of these terms by either 2, 3, or 4 to get whole numbers. So this is what we have. If we multiply by 2, then we would get whole numbers. And this is our empirical formula right here. So that's the answer to the question. Okay, so again, a molecular formula is the true formula. It's actual formula. An empirical formula is not. This doesn't really even exist. It's just a simplified ratio. But its molecular formula is real. It's called ethane. All right. In order to find a molecular formula's identity, we need to know what the empirical formula is first. We're going to also find the mass of the empirical formula. We'll divide the molecular formula's mass by the empirical formula mass. And then whatever we get from this, should be an n value, we'll multiply each subscript by n. So molecular formula mass divided by empirical formula mass equals n. And we'll take that times our formula. Here's an example. We have this acid that's 49.3% carbon. We have hydrogen and oxygen as well. So what is the empirical formula? I'm going to assume 100 grams of the compound, and I'm going to start by converting each of these into gram amounts. So this is carbon, 6.9 grams of hydrogen, and 43.8 grams of oxygen. All right. So carbon grams is 12.0 grams per one mole. For hydrogen, it's 1.0 grams. 
and for oxygen, it's 16 grams. So you'd want to find your mole values next. All right, when you do our work here, grams will cancel out, and we end up with 4.1083 moles of carbon. Here, 6.9 divided by 1 is still 6.9 moles, and this is of hydrogen. Grams cancel here. Here, grams cancel, and the answer is 2.7375 moles of oxygen. These are not whole numbers, so we're going to divide each of them by the smallest value. And the smallest value is 2.7375. Of course, this is going to give us one oxygen. 6.9 divided by 2.7375 is 2.5 of hydrogen. And this one is 1.5 for carbon. All right, so the last step is to um, make them all whole numbers. We're going to take each of these times 2. So we're going to end up with 3 carbons, 5 um, hydrogen, and 2 oxygen. So the formula is C3H5O2. And you can see, actually, it appears in the answer in the bottom left corner, too. All right, so from the last page, we know the empirical formula. Here's the problem again. We already have this answer from before. Now it says, what is the molecular formula? In order to determine this, we have to find the mass of the empirical formula. So we're going to have um, three carbons, five hydrogens, and two oxygens. So carbon is 12 grams each. Hydrogen is 1 gram each, and oxygen is 16, 3, 5, and 2. Add these all up, and I'm just putting this into my calculator, and I get a mass of 73 grams. This is for one mole. Okay, so now you want to take your molecular formula mass. divided by your empirical formula mass, and that's going to give you N. Okay, so our molecular formula mass is given right here, um, and that has to be given for you. So it's 146 grams per mole. Our empirical formula mass was right here. That's what we just found a moment ago. And of course, 146 divided by 73 gives us 2. So that means that we take our empirical formula, which we have right here, we're going to take that times 2. So we're going to get C6H10O4. And that's the final answer for this example. You can see the answer. I also put it in the bottom corner here.